As a kid, you know, there's always the kid in your class who can draw horses and dragons, and you're like, wow, I wanted to be that kid. I wasn't that kid. Um, but uh, the thing that hooked me was movement. So I struggled with drawing, but as soon as I figured out I could make things move, that was got, what got me hooked. And um, so I started making flip books. Um, instead of ruining my math book, <laughs> uh, we'd just get a bunch of, uh, like, oh, they make them like post-it notes. You, know, yeah. you, can, you can basically make little drawings, and each one is slightly different than the last one. And when you flip through them all, it looks like it's moving. And as I got better, I realized I could make them not only move, but I could make characters that look as though they're thinking. Uh, and I can kind of get into their heads. And that's what we're doing uh, with the computer, the same kind of thing. We're not drawing it on a piece of paper we're using computers to render this image, but we're making it one frame at a time. It's kind of the same as a flipbook. Um, in its simplest form, uh, a flipbook is basically, like I say, it's a series of drawings and each one is a little different than the last. So, you know, like for example, uh, well here's, I'll see if I can do Joy here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's going to be rough here, so right. bear with me. Pete even does, uh, does these for his the Christmas, the family Christmas cards. Every year we get in the mail a Pete Doctor flip book that has a little holiday greeting, kids ringing bells, or, <laughs> or putting up the Christmas tree. In front of my, and my kids have now collected them. And they say, Daddy, why don't you draw for the night? <laughs> what do you yeah, say? I, say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or I say, I, I did. I did this one. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like this first drawing, underneath here, Joy is, this is supposed to be Joy, it's very rough. That's Joy. Joy is crouching down, and then here she's leaping into the air, and she's jumping up into the, <laughs> the sky. So, so then as you flip between the two, you get this sense of movement, that because your eye kind of retains one image, and then you go to the next one, uh, a very rough drawing, but you get the basic idea, hopefully. Joy's <laughs> popping up and down. Yeah, sure. boing, boing. And that's really like uh, off to the side here. I, there's a principle of animation we call squash and stretch. And um, you know, if you take something as simple as a ball and do the same kind of idea, you can see it's as it hits something, it squashes. And then as it pulls away, it stretches. And so this idea of squash and stretch. Of course, if I had more drawings to fill in, you could make this movement very smooth and, and look a lot nicer than it does with two. That's the basic idea.